Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today, we have another subscriber requested build. We are on the Backroads County map, so I hope you enjoy this build. Watch along. Let's get started. I'm Matt Don't Play. As soon as I opened this map, I knew exactly where I wanted to build my farm. Right there. That big old island in the middle of Field 21 was the perfect spot for a build. Like in my previous videos, I did the boring stuff off camera, cleared the trees, gave myself a nice big lot. If you've seen my other builds, you know I'm going to start with the house. It just seems to be the focal point where I want to start my builds. I don't think I've used this house before, so I thought it was time. I also like the smaller footprint. Even though this area looks big on the map, once you start placing sheds and grain bins, the area gets pretty small quick. Didn't really have a theme going into this build, but uh, this is kind of when it hit me. I think I'm going to go with an old meets new type build. And you'll see as I go along. Knocking out this grass real quick, just so I have a separation of farmyard and yard yard. Going with the old meets new theme, since I use this older two-story house, I really wanted to use this newer shop building. I envisioned the shop being used as a home business like a lawn mowing company, sign company, garage door repair, something similar to that. That's why it's up front, across from the house, easy access for the homeowners, as well as those coming to visit the business. While planning this building in my head and trying to stick with a the theme, I came up with a story for this farm. My guess is that it's a farm that's been handed down to the next generation or maybe even someone who just bought it who wanted to get into farming. Cheap enough because it still had an old house, but had plenty of room for some of the new buildings and the upgrades that they wanted to make to this farm. So that's kind of driving my build today. That's why I went with this huge shop with the newer grain set up. Just wanted to give the current farmer the best chance of making it. I haven't used a corn dryer in any of my builds yet. I saw this uh, mod in my list, so definitely wanted to give it a shot on this map. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments, is there somewhere else that you would have put this uh, grain set up with the uh, dryer and the bins? Thought for a second about making this a pig farm, but it was just too close to the house, so I gave up on that pretty quickly and went with something else. Since the animal pins didn't really uh, fit my theme, I decided to just turn this into a grass area. I'll show you what I'm gonna be adding here in just a second, so stay tuned. But I really wanted to keep this lane in the back as a trucker's lane to get grain to the bins and out and have a loop. So back to the old, I went to this really old red barn. I thought it'd be perfect for this uh, location. Like I said, this is an inherited farm, leaving Pop's old red barn just seemed right. So as you can see, these buildings deform the land quite a bit. And normally in the past, I would have just deleted this farm and started over, tried to come up with something different. But I really wanted to show you guys how easy it is with the new landscaping tools in FS22, how to make this look good. Make that slope tool your best friend. It really will help you overall if you can figure out how to use it right. Right here, I right clicked in front of the garage door to set a level. And then I use that tool to create a slope up to the garage door so that way it's nice and even. I keep working it until I get it to where I like it. Then I'll use the soften tool to kind of flatten the area out, take out some of the hills and bumps and make it look more natural. So right here, I'm using the soften tool to knock that corner down, make it more rounded, using it up here to round that corner off so it's not such of a steep hump trucks are trying to drive over when using that alley. 
same back here. Just trying to soften that edge to make it look like this old red barn was built into the side of this little hill. With every build, there's always a stubborn area that just doesn't want to cooperate. No matter how hard you try, nothing you do just seems to work. Or all of a sudden, it works and you've totally screwed up your landscaping. It's all right, you can fix it. After removing about a hundred trees, the game still tells me I have too many. Oh well, I'll have to go download the mod, fix that later. On to other things, I guess. Since I'm in a groove, you can't plant trees right now without downloading another mod. I'm going to add some detail around the house and get that part finished up. So adding stuff you've all seen me do before. Well, maybe some of you haven't. Most of my views come from unsubscribed viewers. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's flip that number around. Let's make subscribers the biggest viewers of my channel. Really liking all the decoration mods that have been coming out lately. Lots of choices out there to make your builds unique, make them your own. Like the farm has a past and has a story to tell. Just like this extra lumber from the shop build. You know, this farmer is going to put it to good use. Maybe some shelves in the house, a new workbench in the home business. Who knows? Plenty of projects around the farm that could use good lumber. Adding some cool decorations around the pool deck, make it look used. And doing so, change the terrain. So grab your slope tool, find a flat surface, and knock it back flat. Good as new. the decorations I saw these rocks. I thought they'd be perfect for this build, especially with the hillside that kind of had to come out because of the uh, barns. I figured the previous owner may have moved them around, repurposed them for yard decoration. Then I got to thinking, if you were building these shops in real life, you'd probably put a retaining wall there. So let's use them for that. Let me know in the comments what you'd do with these rocks from the hillside. Now we can place some trees. Finally got the mod figured out. Now I can place all the trees I want. So like I said, this being an older part of the farm, I want to use mature trees around the house and provide lots of shade. If I were to build this again, I probably wouldn't put these trees here. I thought it would be hiding the propane tank, but it's already hidden by the shop, so just seems unnecessary. Place these tiny little bushes on the back of the red barn. Try to make it look abandoned and unused. Try to continue the retaining wall theme to the old barn. Try to find some older rocks, but didn't really like it. So I just went back with the ones that I already used and make it look like one continuous wall was added when the new shop was built. Again, wanted to add a little line of small trees here. Thought it looked neat. Also maybe help with erosion around the new workshop. Adding lots of trees around the farm, both big and small. Again, trying to just make it look like uh, it's been there for a while.
again, you've made it this far. I'm betting that you like the video. I sure do like making these videos for you all. It's a ton of fun. So if you do enjoy these videos, please smash that like button for me. It's really huge for my channel and other channels like mine. It's such an easy and simple gesture on your part, but means huge things for my channel and other channels like mine. So let me and all your other favorite YouTube creators know by hitting that like button, back out of full screen mode, or turn that phone around, find that thumbs up, and like this video. And while you're at it, hit the little bell and turn on notifications. That way you'll know every time I post a video. Still tweaking some things around the farm, just trying to get it to look right. As with all my builds, I'll forever be tweaking on them. I'll probably never settle on a finished product. Looking back on some of my other builds, I feel like I have a tendency to make my driveways too wide. Unrealistic. And I definitely think that's the case here. So I'm going to shorten it up a little bit, add a grass border instead of taking the field all the way to the edge of the driveway. One last thing where old meets new on this build, gotta have the power lines. An old school house like that is definitely gonna have power lines from the road. No buried lines here. When using this particular power line mod in your builds, make sure you grab the right one. There's a string of three that can be used on flat ground, and then there's this one, which is a continuous line of poles that can be placed anywhere. Time for my quick walk around the farm so you get a lay of the land, see how everything works together. As I'm looking at the barn, I notice some things I'm not happy with, so I'm gonna change those up real quick. Put a dirt floor down inside the, uh, the old barn, clean up some of the bushes that were in there. I thought about leaving them just because, you know, it was an abandoned, but I figured the inside would still be uh, at least dirt. Didn't wanna get too carried away with it and make it feel like Pop's old barn was ready for demolition. A little clean up outside, just to get it back to where I want it. Putting some bushes back, so this area looks like uh, no one's been back there for a while. There we go, happy with that. Now onto this big old shed. I really like this shed, I don't think I've used this one before. And can't wait to load it up with equipment. Wanted to put a pole light next to the barn, but I don't like doing that without seeing it, what it looks like at night. So I've changed my mind. Continuing on with the walk around here of the uh, farmyard. Here's the home business shop. And as you can see, there's grass poking through the, the edges and I just hate that. So, so let me clean that up real quick and we'll move on. Leave a comment. Tell me what kind of business you think should be ran out of this shop. Let's wrap this one up with a flyover. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button. Leave a comment on this video and all my videos. And even better, share it with a friend. Until next time, I'm Matt Don't Play.